again. It's Tuesday evening and it's weather for Weather Geeks time. Hey everyone, it's uh, March the uh, 7th and today was kind of an unusual day, right? Not only for March, but for most of the last few months. It was cooler than average today. 40 was our high this afternoon. Now for the month prior to today's data, uh, we were running almost eight degrees above average, but of course that number is going to change pretty dramatically over the next week to 10 days. We'll add more blue boxes to this graphic, it looks like, as we go into mid-March. A lot of us may remember this one. Uh, this was 15 years ago. From today through tomorrow's date, the 8th, we picked up a, a whopping 11.6 inches uh, worth of snow at the airport, uh, making it, I believe, the sixth snowiest March day on record, or March storm, I should say. It's a two-day total. Um, but this is a, <clears throat> a pretty big number for this late in the season. Of course, it can snow in March, and we can have some sizable snows in March, but almost a foot is uh, something we haven't seen all that often this late in the season. We got clipped by a little bit of wet snow very early this morning before daybreak that left a little snow cover on the ground in eastern Mercer County. And not hard to find the snow on the ground looking at the uh, high resolution modus imagery from today. All this white, that's not cloud cover, it's snow cover on the ground from uh, roughly Interstate 79 on east along the I-80 corridor heading over towards Dubois and over towards uh, Clearfield, <coughs> Belfont, and uh, central and north central parts of PA. All right, today was a chilly day. It was a, it was a, a breezy afternoon, but the sun was out and hardly a cloud in the sky all afternoon. The sun is getting stronger at this time of the year. On March the 7th, the uh, sun strength of the sun angle is roughly equivalent to the first week of October, about October 6th. So coming up in just a handful of days, we're going to have uh, September equivalent sun strength. This can play a little bit of a role in our weather on Friday, which we'll talk about in just a moment. In the meantime, I, I talked about this last night. We had a few too many clouds to get a good look last night, but crystal clear out there tonight. Check out the March full moon, oftentimes called the worm moon <clears throat> because of the warming ground, allowing more earthworms to appear at this time of the year. So <clears throat> the March full moon, technically full last night, but it'll appear full tonight, 99.5 or something like that. The percentage full that the moon will be tonight. Pretty similar weather coming up on our Wednesday. A few more fair weather clouds in the mix compared to today, but still a pleasant day with a, a gusty breeze. Thursday can start with clouds. We'll end the day with a good deal of sunshine. Now let's talk about Friday. Clouds will increase Thursday night, and it does look like precipitation is going to push in by daybreak on Friday. This looks like more of a potent or stout system than it looked like 24 hours ago. The eventual exact track is going to be very important because this is not a no-brainer as far as what kind of precipitation type we're going to see. Uh, a farther north track, <clears throat> you know the drill. That's going to draw in more mild air and increase the chances for mixed precipitation or rain. A farther south track means more in the way of snowfall for us. And, you know, 15, 30, even 50 miles can make a pretty big difference. This is the way it looks right now based on today's data, and this will be subject to change, of course, over the next 24 hours or so. Right now it looks like the highest odds of impactful snow perhaps accumulating snow during the daylight hours Friday will be north of Interstate 80. With mixed precipitation a little more likely as you head off to the south, and once you're far enough to the south, odds are favoring mostly rain in places like Columbus and Zanesville and over towards Wheeling and Steubenville as well. Um, that's the way it looks right now. And again, small changes to the track <clears throat> will be very important when it comes to this. Let's uh, talk about some of the modeling. What we're looking at here is uh, this afternoon's run of the uh, GFS ensemble modeling. All the little L's, possible locations of the center of the storm at 1 p.m. on Friday. Now, there's pretty good, a pretty good, uh, a pretty tight cluster here. So there's not tremendous disagreement within the model. But again, subtle differences in the track will make a big difference for us. If one of these southern lows right here ends up being right instead of this guy right here, that's going to be very important. That means more snow than, than mixed precipitation for us. Conversely, if this guy up here ends up being kind of the right track, that is going to draw in probably enough warm air for there, or warmer air for there to be something other than just snow during the daylight hours on Friday. Here's a look at the same model information from the European model, ensemble model. And again, our L's are pretty tightly clustered together here, but 30 miles, 50 miles make a big difference. If this is the track, that's a big difference than if this is the track down here. So stay tuned. It's going to be possible to we'll see impactful snow during the daylight hours Friday. One thing we'll have to pay attention to on Friday is the fact that it's March. And snow that falls during the daylight hours in March has to come down pretty hard in order to stick on the roads. 
the incoming solar radiation, even though there'll be thick clouds overhead, that incoming solar radiation does mean something at this time of the year. And heavy snow rates can overcome that, especially early in March. But it's going to have to thump in order for things to stick on roads coming up uh, during the daylight hours Friday. Now, grassy surfaces, non-paved surfaces, that can be a different story. And whatever happens on Friday, I do think that uh, we have a pretty good chance of, of seeing some residual snow showers and flurries into Friday night, Saturday morning. And with temperatures dropping below freezing, anything wet and slushy, in addition to there being some snow falling from the sky, could make for some slick surfaces, I think, Friday night into Saturday morning. So Friday during the day, <clears throat> a big question mark. We actually have higher confidence in some impacts Friday night, even though the storm will be pushing away. Some lake effect and lake enhancement, along with falling temperatures, I think could make for some slick surfaces for a time Friday night. So there's much we don't know just yet. Our confidence certainly higher than it was 24 hours ago that we'll have a storm that will bring plentiful precipitation Friday into Friday night. The details hopefully become a little bit more clear for us coming up on Wednesday, and we'll have you covered right here on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks as always for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your Tuesday night.